Behemoth, Bahamoth, Baphomet. Some people got very confused when I posted this short on YouTube. So finally, here's the video you never knew you needed. What's the difference between Baphomet, Bahamut, and Behemoth? Now, two of these words might be very closely related and describing the same mythological creature, but the third one's origins might shock you. When words sound similar, there might be an etymological link between them, with one word evolving from another. And the same is true for mythological creatures. Mythology and folklore are not D&D bestiaries. A dragon doesn't have plus 10 fire breathing, and contrary to what people believe, there's no set definition between a wyvern and a dragon. In fact, each of these words seem to have meant serpent in their original language, and in later use they sometimes refer to the same creature and sometimes to different creatures, depending on when and where the word is used. In addition, each of the words might evolve in different directions and the meaning might shift, becoming sometimes even the opposite of what it originally meant. One such shift might have happened with Behemoth and Bahamoth. Behemoth and Leviathan are possibly the two greatest beasts of the Bible. Leviathan is a huge sea creature and the name might be derived from words describing the wreathing of a snake, making Leviathan in fact a dragon. Behemoth is the land-based counterpart of Leviathan. Impossibly large and strong, with a tail like a cedar tree, tight-knit muscles and sinew, bones like tubes of bronze and limbs like iron. Behemoth may have been an invention of the writer of the Book of Job, or derived from much older tales of animals such as elephants, hippos, water buffaloes, or even extinct rhinos. Tales that got exaggerated over generations through thousands of years. By the time it gets to us in the Bible, it has become so huge and dangerous that only its creator, God himself, may overcome the beast. And in modern times the word has become a general word for anything very large. Now before we get to Bahamut, please remember to subscribe and press the bell icon, because I would very much like to make more videos with mythology and storytelling like this. After doing thousands of videos on TikTok, this is actually the first in this longer format that I'm doing on YouTube. And it would mean the world to me if you subscribe and you know, may maybe leave a comment. That would be cool. Thank you. Now, what about Bahamut? Bahamut is a great fish or whale swimming around the cosmos in medieval Arabian cosmology. On its back there's a huge bull carrying a disc of stone and on it stands an angel holding up the world. In size it can truly be described as a behemoth, but over the millennium separating the biblical narrative from the medieval Bahamut, the meaning seems to have shifted. And it reminds us more of Leviathan, the great dragon, who is also sometimes described as a serpent, a whale or even a fish. Seemingly Bahamut also went from being an enemy of God to just being impossibly large. So large that in one fairy tale Bahamut makes the prophet Isha, known to us as Jesus, faint in awe of seeing its massive head swim by. And Bahamut isn't even the biggest creature in Arabian cosmology, but that's another story. And finally we have Baphomet. It is, believe it or not, not related to Bahamut or Behemoth. Baphomet seems to have been an invention of the Crusades, likely a corruption of the name of the Prophet Muhammad. When the Knight Templars became too rich and powerful, they were arrested by King Philip IV of France, allegedly for worshipping the bearded head of Baphomet. And Baphomet evolved as a sort of scapegoat pagan deity, which even the Freemasons were accused of secretly worshipping, eventually becoming the image or manifestation of the devil himself. But it isn't until 1861, with Eliphas Levy's classic occult book called Transcendental Magic, that we get the modern image of the hermaphroditic goathead humanoid pointing to heaven and earth, as above, so below, that finally becomes the almost universal image of the Satan we all know and love. So there you have it, the final word on Behemoth, Bahamut and Baphomet. There is of course a lot of detail that had to be left out and the words and meanings might have shifted over the millenniums, so if I got anything wrong then please leave a comment. Making a longer form video like this has been an absolute blast, so if you have anything you want me to make videos about, mythological themes, you know, things about art, whatever you want, please leave a comment and I'll see what I can do. Finally, all my art is available for free use, so 
once I scanned it, you can go to my gallery, you can copy it, you can change it, you can tattoo it, you can even sell it as long as you remember to put my name on it. I have made thousands of pieces already available for free use under a Creative Commons attribution license. And it's all possible because of the support I get from my patrons over at patreon.com slash kimpong. So if you like my art or my videos or even the idea of art for free use, please consider supporting. If I could get only 1% of you to support with $1 a month, that would change my life radically and make me able to do more art, more videos and more cool stuff for you guys. So please do check out some of my older videos and see you next time.